Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, a mom of five, and today we are going to be tackling so much mess in my house. As you can see, we are in the middle of a kitchen renovation and it keeps just prolonging and more things are adding up. So I need to get this kitchen clean and in some sort of working order because I cannot manage my family with this dust and debris everywhere. So I'm going to start off by getting my mask on because I do have asthma and no one needs to be breathing in all this dust. And I am also going to be wearing some of my powder free vinyl gloves because you guys I cannot stand dust and chalk it drives me crazy. But somebody's got to clean up this mess. Chris is doing all the work, so this is my part. So first I have to go in here and just basically clean up any of the mess from the weekend. That is when the guys pulled up all of the tile and the thin set. And I have a vlog on our other family channel with that showing everything that we did. You guys, it is a mess. I'm going to pull back all the plastic. The dust is insane. Insane, you guys. So I'm going to pull this back and then I'm going to start putting everything together shaking off my jacket because I cannot even believe it and wiping down these countertops because these dishes have been sitting in the sink all weekend and if you guys have been here for a while you know I don't let dishes sit in the sink so I've got a lot to do. you guys ask I got this adorable aqua colored scrub brush from Marshall's I believe it's called fat is it Faberware or Faberware I don't know but I love it love 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 it I think it was only like four dollars and it's my favorite color you got guys know I love aqua or anything mint colored um, but this brush here is amazing so if you guys are looking for a good scrub brush for your dishes Marshall's or home goods TJ Maxx that is the place to go and it's so much more affordable there. was being a little bit of a baby when it comes to all the chalk and honestly when I was very young you guys some of you will be able to remember this but when we used chalk on a chalkboard back when we went yeah. to school before it was dry erase everything I remember telling the teachers that I cannot write on the boards and they thought I was just trying to get out of um, getting up there and doing my work which sometimes I was but Honestly, I could not stand the chalk. It drove me crazy, even as a very young child. So I looked it up recently and there is actually a phobia when it comes to chalk and dust. So let me know in the comments, what is your strange phobia or thing that you cannot stand? I don't like smacking. I don't like cabinets open and I do not like chalk. It drives me insane, but anything powdery or chalky is just Oh my gosh, just thinking about it just makes me cringe. So let me know what y'all's phobia is in the comments below. I just wanna hold you one last time. Hold you like your mind oh, it's over, almost over. For a second, let's forget and pretend. Cause I just wanna hold I'm 
I'm going to start wiping down all of the items in the baskets here. We had everything covered with plastic as I showed you at the beginning of the video, but the dust is so fine it got everywhere even in the cabinets. So I'm going to wipe down whatever was in this basket, like all of our bread and everything, and clean out these baskets. I will do this a lot. This is probably the second time I've had to do this. I did this in one of my other videos. But um, also having to clean out the cabinets and so all of the spices have to get individually wiped down. So yeah, as you can see I shake my head and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe it is everywhere. It is, I'm so ready for it to be done. I don't think that we have any more dust producing projects. Um, so I just got to take care of this now. We are going to be getting new upper cabinets. So I'm really excited for that. Um, not right now though. It's going to probably be within the end, probably the end of February. Um, we're, I've mentioned this before and I talk about this in our other on our other channel, which is called The Real White House. And we are going to be doing everything with cash. So it's really important for us to just make sure we have the money. I've already started this project and doing things that I should have waited to have the cash for. So like our floors, I'm waiting to get those and the cabinets and the island and the appliances. So it will be a long drawn out process, but I know it'll be so, so worth it. And I absolutely love real estate. So I know I'm going to be totally increasing the revenue in my home. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day So I'm going to go through and wash all of the plates and bowls. This brand here is the Corel. If you guys are wondering, I get the basic plain white just to ensure that I can always replace any pieces that break. This is a scratch and break resistant type of um, plates and bowls. They have, I have had a couple break because I mean it fell on tile so I kind of expected it. But that is a little tip. Don't worry about all the designs and the colors because if anything um, goes missing, then you can't replace it very easily. So just stick with your basics. And I'm also taking this opportunity to go through any of the plasticware plates that are stained or discolored and go ahead and get rid of that because we had quite a few. Oh 
So I'm going to take this opportunity to push the oven back until the floors come out. It's best going back where it needs to go so I can actually use it. I'm hoping we will get our floors soon. But until then, I'm trying to make the best out of living in a deconstructed kitchen. To our entertainment center I'm gonna wipe everything down here with a wet cloth I also rinse this cloth out a ton one thing I've been trying to do is take any of the old stained or ripped um, dish towels and then making smaller rags with it which is kind of great because I feel like I will throw our rags away if they get too nasty and so this kind of saves on having to buy more rags I'm going to vacuum off any of the dust on the blinds and then I'm going to wipe these down. I don't want to use a wet cloth because the dust is making everything a little discolored and these blinds are new and I'm noticing the little strings are looking a little dingy already which really bums me out but I think I might spray them with like a little bit of uh, diluted bleach water to bring them back to their normal vibrancy but i'm gonna do this first and then wipe everything down with a duster
I would recommend getting a couple of these brushes. I think I'm gonna go back and get another one because they work great for the windowsills and any of those tiny crevices as well. So if you see me moving around a little bit, I do like to dance and I like to move when I'm cleaning because I'm usually listening to music in my AirPods. If you guys have to clean, listen to something good, something entertaining because it makes the time go by so much faster. Although you guys know I actually love to clean, but man, some good music makes it so much better. fan here. I had so much trouble trying to clean this. I could not figure out why the attachments weren't working very well later on, which I did not show in the video. The vacuum was actually clogged so bad. So if you guys notice there is a loss of suction in your vacuum, always check for clogs because more times than not, they are there. However, you guys know the drama with the Dyson. She is done for good. Won't even turn on anymore. So I'm over it. I'm done. Not going to be using that again. And it's, you realize how much you rely on those little vacuums, those little cordless vacuums. But I have a new Auric Pod cordless vacuum coming. So I'm super excited about that because I'm so ready to have something handheld. Don't get me wrong. I love my water vacuum. It is amazing. Amazing. But when you have quick little messes like under the bar and stuff where the kids are eating, it's nice to just be able to get a handheld vacuum and go. I will also have that Auric vacuum in my Amazon favorites. So if you guys are interested in looking at what I'm getting and how much I love it, you guys, Auric is such a good brand. That is where you can find that vacuum. wipe down the walls with a wet cloth, get any of the overspray from the texture from the ceiling.
It is day two and I'm going to clean up my office area. I'm gonna be tidying up anything that's out that needs to be put away. I'm also gonna to have to store some items in here as we level the dining room floor. I will also be moving any of the decor that I don't need into the garage because I am trying to sell it. I'm also measuring the shelves and writing down those measurements because I plan on possibly rearranging this room. I know I want to do a wallpaper on that wall and I may move the shelves and the desk on that wall as well right behind me. Um, I'm not quite sure but I went ahead and got the measurements to kind of play around with that idea. I know I for sure want to do something in here after taking down all the shiplap or the pallet board. It is looking really plain but oh my gosh it feels so much bigger. Please excuse the lighting in here. This room does not have a light other than this lamp. This is going to install one, so it is really tough to get good lighting when I'm cleaning. Noah says hello and I'm going to clean the bathroom. He likes for me to hang out in here with him, which I will usually stay in here and clean and move around. So while he's in the tub, I'm going to clean off my little, inter like not my entertainment, my vanity. I'm going to clean off my vanity. And of course I've got my gloves on because the dust is real and the chalky feeling is so, so real. So I have kept gloves on my hands and I'm trying to protect my nails because they have been feeling so brittle lately. So yeah, I also got some gardening gloves hoping that will help me. doing a quick wipe down on the countertops. I'm literally just using my hands as you saw in the evening time. I'm not trying to fuss over it too much unless I'm trying to do a deep clean, but just wiping the countertops with a rag or my hand does it. You don't have to get fancy with it. If you're wondering what Chris is doing, he actually hurt his back at work, so he is using an Electro Stem unit, um, an E Stem unit on his back. So <laughs> I just noticed as I was re watching this and editing it, he was over there and it looks like he has no shirt on, which he doesn't because he is doing a treatment on his back. I'm using one of these Swiffer dusters, it's for pet, and it really is great at picking up anything left behind. So I've been having one of these in my hand 24 seven just to wipe down any of the areas that I see. I'm going to finish making the bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not a normal cleaning video with all of the construction and whatnot, but I want to be able to get these out for you. I know for sure that you have probably not seen any YouTube Mamas clean demo. I mean, maybe you have. If you have, let me know, but I haven't seen any. So I hope this video was something unique. I hope you enjoyed the music and you were able to get your own cleaning done, whether you're cleaning the same areas as me or your house is under construction like me. 
No matter what, I hope that the video was encouraging and motivating. I hope that the music was motivating and you can clean your own areas in your house with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am worn out. Hazel is tired. As you can see, that sweet girl is three months old now and she is just a love. I'm so obsessed with her. She's amazing and Ruby is still my baby girl. The best dogs ever. I have been so blessed with my animals and my family. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe, share if you know someone who liked this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.